Using the tape to hold it from the bottom is both convenient, and the other thing it does is um, if something goes wrong, if you like plow the tool in or it seizes, this is, uh, the tape is a, um, a link that can break. That, that, um, it, so instead of something bad happens, the tape is designed to be the, the, the weak part. How do you know the exact relationship between the, the grayscale color and how deep the tool cuts? Um, let me, that's actually an important question once you start designing your own mold. So remember, there's two ways to do it, to actually write these .cad programs, or you can just read in a grayscale image. Right. But in either case, um, you need to be aware of the depth of cut. So if you look over here, you'll see, um, if you, this is giving coordinates. So this is z equals 0 up here, and down there is z equals 0.78. So, so that, that's the depth of cut. This particular um, object is designed around, so again, B is ball end, and um, one without a B is flat end. Um, this is an eighth inch tool shank, and then um, this is an eighth inch tool. Um, so th th this has a depth of cut of about an inch or so. The Modella, you, you can get um, longer tools. But with this size, it has about a one inch depth of cut. And here I'm doing a three quarter inch cut. But a common mistake is to design an object with a depth of cut longer than the tool. So the shank of the tool plows into it. Um, these are centimeters, so that's two centimeters. An inch is 2.54, so it's gonna start machining. So I'll just put this at 2.2. Two, and it'll start machining. Um, about an inch in there, and then the part is about an inch, so that'll fit on the block. When you said two, two, you're talking about the grid. Yeah, two. Mm -hmm. the, the convention is, CAD does a funny sort of rendering that's very helpful. It's not, the, the light you see isn't casting a light, it's just light is close to you and dark is far from you. So it, it, the illumination is, is the distance. This white is this top of the block. And then the dark is what we're going to cut out. M, I'll flip format, RML. Um, I'm going to come out of view mode, and then I'm going to, I need to explain an important tip. But, um, so now, okay, so we're going to do 0.125 because it's an eighth inch tool. We're going to do minus one because we want a contour to fill until there's nothing more to remove. The wax you can machine very fast. Say 10 and 10 are good numbers because it, it's so easy to machine it. Um, so I'm going to start that contouring. Now, I'm going to do something. This is a non-obvious and really important thing. Right now, I'm going to do this, just that. I just barely move the tool down. When you come out of the view, it's at the top of the range. Um, the, on the Modella, it sets Z0 from the last up-down move. Right now, Z0 is way down there. So oh, if, you did, if you did a move one one, uh, it would helpfully try to plow it into there. <laughs> chop the China, yeah. Um, okay. uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and so, so that's a precaution to tell it Z zero is up top now. <laughs> but you haven't set Z zero in any precise way. You're just setting I'm just up as uh, right. I'm getting it above the workpiece. Yeah. And then once it's done this, then yeah. I'll set it carefully. Now, if you if you accidentally push the wrong button or just had it start going, what button did you push to stop? View. 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 View always stops it. The tool pass done. Um, now now we move to one one, and you'll see it doesn't go down. Um, now here I want to I want to leave much more room. I want to have about an inch depth of cut. So I'm going to check to make sure that there's about an inch. Yeah, that's that there's an inch. Um, it's getting dropped. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Now, where were you measuring the inch? Uh, from the bottom of the collet here okay. to the top of the stock, okay. and that that that's the depth of cut. Because that thing has to drop all the way down. And it will melt wax from it if it hits the wax. Um, yeah. It, it'll make a lot of noise and probably knock it off the tape. Okay. <laughs> the piece yeah. okay, so we're all set, so we're ready to go.
And so the depth of cut is really determined by the instruction. You're just making sure that you allow for what the instructions right. want to tell yep. you. Right. Now, um, this is going to make a great big mountain of these shavings. Mm -hmm. um, if you want, you can vacuum them as it works. But that's really just for you to see. If they're so light, the tool has no trouble clearing them. Mm -hmm. um, and in Is fact, there danger it, of it melting in there? No. And then if you want to be really... Um, uh, this, I'm using a fairly conservative depth of cut, the order of 10 mils, um, which is... You can make bigger cuts. This is pretty conservative. Um, then, if you really want to be uh, so molds when you're done, if you don't want the mold, you can remelt them. But the shavings are convenient because you can pack them into a blank of a size you want before you start machining. So you have to remove less material because you start with a mold um, similar to what you're going to make. <laughs> what are the blanks that we use? Oh, like just mm -hmm. aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Use medium. Flat, a flat on both sides, and then you have to cut the edges. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna uh, that'll take about an hour to machine. <laughs>